The No Child Left Behind Act. It sounds like such an honorable mission, but is this act really what it sounds like? Every 26 seconds, a kid drops out of school, and one quarter never graduate from high school. Many who stay in school find themselves unprepared to survive in college and careers. And huge achievement gaps exist among low-income and minority students, students with disabilities, and English learners. In 2002, Congress attempted to deal with these problems by reauthorizing the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, or ESEA, which became known as the No Child Left Behind Act, NCLB. NCLB has been successful helping states to begin collecting and reporting data about student achievement and to focus on making improvements to long neglected student groups. However, NCLB also brought with it a host of unintended consequences. Well, I believe that its purpose was to serve students that were um, below grade level and um, students that needed extra help with things. And what do you personally think of the act? What is your opinion? Um, I personally feel like it left every single child behind. It didn't really help anyone. The urban schools are still struggling, and the schools that weren't struggling before are now struggling because of cutbacks, because of high-stakes testing, because of all kinds of things that I don't think benefit children at all. This may be confusing, after all, how could No Child Left Behind leave any child behind? But in the wake of the act, children all over America were left in the dust. Teachers are pressured to spend all their time making sure struggling students will score proficient on tests and don't have time to spend with gifted and advanced students. Because I, I don't believe that it was written to meet the needs of all students. I believe that it was written to meet the needs of the lowest 12% of students. In a 2008 study from the Thomas B. Fordham Institute, students whose achievement ranked in the bottom 10% showed significant growth, while the students in the top 10% hardly moved. This is not surprising considering that the top 60% of teachers surveyed so that struggling students were a top priority and that four out of every five teachers so that struggling students were more likely to get one-on-one -on -one attention than top performing students. Studies such as the National Assessment of Educational Progress, the Northwest Evaluation Association, and a 2009 report by the Center for Educational Policy all say shockingly similar things. That while struggling students are finally getting the, the help they deserve, gifted students are not a priority. The No Child Left Behind Act has cut funding for gifted programs nationwide. Um, Javits grants have been cut, and those are grants that are specifically earmarked to meet the needs of advanced academic students. Um, funding has been cut in almost every single district that I know of for gifted because if they don't cut the funding for gifted, they won't have enough money for the high stakes testing. But what can we do to fix a broken system? The solutions are not expensive. Grade and subject acceleration require little or no funding by taking advantage of resources already in place. Another proven method, according to a James Cullen report, is to group students based on skill, not age. According to the report, this can add as much as a year of academic development. But what can you do? Students, parents, everyday citizens. For most people, change seems impossible, but it's not. We are every bit as responsible for the type of education our children receive as any lawmaker in this country. We have the power to speak up, to protest. We have the power to support programs that support students. The, the general public doesn't really understand. They just start looking at numbers. And you can't assign 
numbers to kids. I, um, I became very frustrated about eight or nine years ago when all of a sudden I was told to stop teaching children and to start teaching standards. And that's, I mean, children are not standard. No one is standard. I think that's been a waste of time because I think that we're selling our children short. They are so much more capable than anyone who would ever have written this bill could ever possibly understand. So here's what it comes down to. It's not about scoring proficient on a test. It's not about setting a single standard that's supposed to apply to everyone. How could we when we're all so different? It's not about focusing on one group of kids. Because like it or not, every single kid, whether or not we paid attention to them, will build the future of America. Most importantly, it's not just about making sure that no child is left behind. It's about the fact that great education is being able to ensure that every single student is learning more than just what's on a test. It's about great education being every single kid learning. How could we achieve that when we only care about and teach the kids who are left behind? You can't. It can only be achieved when no child left behind becomes no child stand still.